What does 1111 mean? 1111. Why do I keep seeing 1111? Hello my friend, my name is Gavin Stevenson from wakeupfulfilled.com and I help people create a business and life that's meaningful. And if you're watching this video right now, chances are you want to know more about 1111. What does it mean? And how can I use it in my life? And why do I keep seeing it? So I'm going to answer these questions for you in this video. Um, I feel like everyone puts their own meaning on things and my meaning for it, for it might not really resonate with you, but hopefully it does. And I'll give you my perspective on it. And what we have to realize about numbers, anyway, I feel like they do have an energy attached to them. However, we can come up with our own meaning for it. So it's really difficult, but at the same time, um, I think we can come into our own intuition and realize what it means. So this is just sort of a cosmic download for me. This is like something that's coming through me and what I've seen in my life rather than it just being, you know, a copy of what everyone else is saying out there. So the first thing I would like to say about 1111 is that it's four different numbers and these four different numbers are all in a line right and if they're all in a line that means they're in alignment and if they're in alignment when i see 11 11 what it means to me is i'm in alignment and if I'm in alignment, it means I'm on the right path. It means I'm doing the right thing. It means that I'm following my truth. It means I'm doing something right and the habits I'm doing are right and I need to continue following that path. So when I see 11-11, I get excited. I smile and I give appreciation and gratitude. Number one, to the universe, because it's giving me cosmic downloads, it's giving me a message, a symbol in the form of numbers that I'm on the right path. And through that, I create my own meaning for it. And through that meaning, which I've just given you, that I'm in alignment, following my path, I'm manifesting now the vibration of me being more on my path. I'm vibrating on a frequency of I'm doing the right thing. I'm vibrating on a frequency of I'm doing the right habits and I just need to continue it and have faith that I'm doing the right thing since the universe showed me 1111. And in numerology, I'm 11. And 11 is a really, really powerful number anyway in numerology. So when I see 1111, it kind of resonates with me anyway. <laughs> I believe people who are seeing 1111 are usually going to be more spiritual and the fact that you are becoming aware that you're seeing 11 11 shows that there's something different about you right the everyday normal person when they see 11 11 all the time you know it's, it doesn't really bother them it's just like oh it's 11 11 you know they kind of ignore it but People who are curious to why they are seeing 1111, who are using their intuition, they're like, why, why do I keep seeing 1111? And they go and look it up and do research or whatever. Well, well, these people are realizing something about life. They are realizing that there's more to this world than we see. And we can kind of talk about the movie, The Matrix and how Neo always felt like there was more to the reality that he was living in. There was more to what he could see, hear, feel, taste, and touch. He felt like there was something hidden. He felt like there was more to it. However, he was trying to navigate through it through computers and hacking and stuff of this nature. So with that said, we have to realize that there are particular frequencies that we cannot even hear. A dog can hear it, but we can't hear it. You know, when, when you've got that little whistle and a dog can hear it, but you can't hear it, what is that? And what we have to realize about that is there's more to this world or reality that we can actually comprehend. So when I see 1111, 
beyond the veil of what I can see and perceive, or sometimes I can feel. I say that, okay, this is my guardian angel sending me a message. This is the universe sending me a message. This is my ancestors sending me a message. I appreciate it. You know, thank you. Like, thank you. Wow, I'm in alignment. It feels good. Let me keep on doing this. Let's get more excited here. Even if I'm not even feeling good at that point in time. You see 1111, well, that's where I need to be. I'm in alignment with where I need to be right now. Like, I need to be going through this bad thing right now. Or this negative thing right now. That's my alignment for right now. I need to be there. A lot of people think, oh, I need to be positive all the time. No, sometimes you need to be negative or in a negative situation or negative emotions because there's something to come from that. It's a part of your path, right? And as you begin to come out of that path, which is something that's going to happen. So as long as you go and step out of that negative energy, you, you zoom out of that negative energy and you see it as a lesson, you're going to be able to conquer that particular level and move to another level. You see how that works? So when I see an 11 11 and I'm going through a negative situation, oh, oh, I'm supposed to be going through this right now. I'm in alignment right now. And here's my chance to go and uh, learn something from this. What do I need to learn from this? Let's, let's see what I need to learn from this, right? So we can use it to our power, to our advantage. Can you see where I'm going with this? So 11 11 is a powerful number. 1111 is divine alignment. 1111 is you ascending. 1111 is associated with intuition. It's associated with, I think one's associated with independence. One, it's a by itself. Um, power, unwavering. I think it's associated with ang uh, not anger, but uh, aggressiveness. For me, when I see it, when I see 1111, the meaning that I give it is everything I just explained to you. However, you can decide the meaning that you're going to give to something. You can decide that this number means this, 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 and this. Because what you have to realize is you are creator. And whatever you decide the meaning of this particular number is, is what you're going to continue to resonate on and give out to the universe and it's going to be reflected back to you in that way. So the vibration that I was offering and speaking to you was my meaning for it because number one, it's just my intuition, my, my gut feeling that I get about it and it's basically what it, what it means to me. And secondly, I want to continually vibrate on that frequency so that 1111 shows up more every time I'm on my path, every time I'm following the right path, I'm going down the right um, direction. So for you, you might call it abundance, magic, synchronicities, whatever it is. And through that meaning that you're giving to this number every time you see it, you're creating your own vibrational um, perspective on it and through your own vibrational perspective on it every time you now link that vibration with that number you're now giving that vibration out into the universe and every time you see 11 11 it reinforces and reinforces and reinforces so now you begin to manifest the feelings that you've associated with the number 11 11 you know a lot of people think Friday the 13th is a bad, bad day. Or the 13th floor in an elevator is a bad thing. It's the evil, it's bad, it's bad luck. Well, that's the meaning that was given to it. And it's become a global meaning. So we all think 13 is bad. I think 13 is good. We have 13 major joints in our body. Some people can see 666 as an evil number. Six protons, six electrons, six neutrons this is what you are made up of 666 go look it up six protons six neutrons six electrons look it up you're made up of 13 different joints 13 different major joints in your body so are you bad luck are you evil right so what we have to realize is what you give meaning to these particular numbers also my final thing here is when i see 1111 it means love to me it means love like I'm, I'm downloading this infinite love and it's golden light, okay? And golden light and white light 
and streaming down into me. I'm in a divine alignment. So that's it for this video, my friend. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. If you're someone that wants to take the law of attraction to the next level, head over to wakeupfulfilled.com forward slash free for advanced law of attraction trainings I don't share on YouTube.